Hello, all you engineers and home labbers out there. So today we're going to look at getting our Unify operating system set to a domain name of our choice and secured with an SSL cert. And we're going to do this all via reverse proxy through Apache. In this video, I'm going to assume that you have a domain name already set up, that you have Apache or some similar type web service up and running, and that you have either a UDM Pro or some version of the Unify operating system set up and running somewhere. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the reverse proxy so that we can apply our SSL certs uh, from Apache or something similar, uh, probably using Let's Encrypt. I personally am using Let's Encrypt but the reason why we want to do this is that we want to get rid of those annoying uh, security warnings that show up and the fact that your browser will not remember your password for a site that is insecure or using a self-signed cert. And when I was looking into this, I went through a bunch of different options. Uh, one of the options is you can set up the Unify operating system to get its own cert and things like that. It just seemed a little more complicated and a little less automated. And from my side, effectively, I want to be able to get a cert, apply it to this, and effectively have it automatically update the cert in real time and for free. Let's take a look at what we need to do. Here I am SSH'd into my server. And this is the server that accepts and uh, routes incoming internet traffic into my home network. So from here, we're going to go to CD, Etsy, Apache 2, sites available. And inside of here, we are going to set up a new virtual host. And so for that, we are going to sudo touch unify site.conf. Since I already have a Unify site virtual host set up, that's why I chose Unify-site. For those of you at home, I would just do unify.conf. And then we're going to sudo nano unify, unify site.conf. And from here, we're going to put in our virtual host information. And this is a very simple uh, configuration john at feengineer.com and this one the server name is going to be unify-site.feengineer.com I'm going to change the access log and modify a few of these. So all that this virtual host file does is it says that for all traffic coming in on port 80, the server name is unifysite.feengineer.com. We're gonna do some logging and we're gonna send them out to these logs. And then we're gonna turn the rewrite engine on. And with the rewrite engine on, this basically says any traffic that comes in on port 80, so uh, uh, any traffic that comes in just via HTTP, we're automatically going to send it over to HTTPS. We're not going to do anything else with it. We're not going to let it continue to our site. We're going to automatically send it over to HTTPS because all of this traffic, we always want to be on SSL certs uh, for the enhanced security. Let's go ahead and save this. And then we will set up unify-site-le-ssl.conf. When you're using Let's Encrypt, it automatically creates new virtual host files for all of your SSL sites. And what it does is it adds this dash le for Let's Encrypt and dash SSL and creates a new comp file. So we'll just open up and create this new comp file. 
And then here is where the magic happens for reverse proxying into, into your UDM and Unify operating system. These are the settings that I found work the best. So far, I have not found anything that is broken or doesn't work. Everything should work appropriately. And this virtual host responds to all traffic on port 443, which is your uh, SSL ports. If you happen to be running mod page speed, I do happen to be running it. You will require these, these two lines for mod page speed honor CSP and mod page speed respect vary. If you are not running mod page speed, you can simply comment these lines out and you can comment by using the hashtag or octothorpe or pound sign, whatever you feel like calling it. And since, since I am changing this, I'm going to set my server admin to john at fe engineer. My server name is unify site.fe engineer. The error log and custom log I can set to be, I can just leave it as it as I already have it set. All of this code is available in the description. So there's no there's no need to try to copy it off of the screen. This location block. I have this set up because my Unify, I don't want to be accessible to the outside world. I don't want anybody coming in through the internet to be able to access this. I only want to be able to access this from my home network. And so this location block basically says any place that they are trying to go on this server require an IP address that is my main VLAN. 192.168.0.0 is my main VLAN. And then this slash 24 means effectively, no matter what the ending IP address is, if it's 123, it's allowed. If it's 20, it's allowed. Anything on the dot zero VLAN is able to get through here. And then what we'll do is we'll turn rewrite engine on. We'll set a bunch of these SSL settings for proxying. And in this rewrite section is where the magic happens. This is where we actually are proxying and reverse proxying over to our UDM Pro or whatever server is controlling our Unify operating system. And so this 192.168.0.1, that is my UDM Pro. And so that's why I have this IP address in here. And these are the things that set up the proxy and reverse proxy. And then for Apache, there's a couple other things that you'll need to make this work. And header unset refer, request header unset refer, request header unset origin. You will need those in order to, to have everything functionally work correct, correctly. And so my SSL certs for my FE engineer site happen to live here in Etsy, let's encrypt live feengineer.com. And so I'll just put those in. And then that's all we need to do in this file. We'll save that. With all of that set up, we can now enable our sites. And you enable virtual host sites in Apache by, by the A2 in site command. So, so my two sites are unify-site.conf and unify-site-le-ssl.conf. When I do that, these two will be enabled. And right now, for most of you, if you try to sudo system control reload Apache 2, it probably won't work correctly. You will probably get an error here. And this error is because you don't have the modules necessary enabled in Apache. So let's go ahead and enable those. If you're ever curious which Apache modules you have running, you can type in Apache control and then dash big M 
and it will list out all of your Apache modules. To enable the correct modules that you're going to need for this, we need to sudo a2 in mod headers proxy proxy was tunnel rewrite set set environment if module S SSL those should be all of the modules that we need depending on if you have a www version of your site or want to have a www version of your site you also could potentially need the alias module after we hit after we send that command over everything is enabled with that all of the modules that you need should be up and running which will now mean that if you reload apache 2 you shouldn't get any errors if you do get any errors feel free to leave a comment on my video and i'll figure out which module potentially is missing i just wanted to let folks know that if you have any questions about setting up an ssl cert or setting up a star cert i have an entire video that goes through it step by step on how to go into apache and use let's encrypt to get yourself a star cert with any domain name so i'm not going to go over that into detail on here because it will make the video quite a bit longer and this video assumes that you already have some sort of cert or set up available to get your Let's Encrypt certificates or already have one. With that, let's keep moving. Now that all of our modules are enabled and Apache has been reloaded, we can go ahead and take a look. So you'll see here I'm on unified.fe-engineer.com. Now, if I go to unify-site.feengineer.com, you'll see that I do indeed get over to my operating system. Inside of your Unify operating system, you'll notice that things like Unify Protect do in fact work appropriately. You're able to pull up different cameras and see what is going on with each one, and they all will work appropriately. Outside of that, if you go over to your network tab, your network tab will all show up and work appropriately. And I've been using this for a little while now. So I can safely say that every single thing seems to work exactly as it should. I haven't had a single problem of anything not working. And with that, you've got your Unify operating system now serving out over SSL with a certificate. Thank you so much, engineers and home labbers. I appreciate your time today. I hope that some people have found this video helpful and that this was able to help you get your SSL certs running through your domain name and through Apache reverse proxying over to your Unify operating system so that now that your Unify is set up to work on a domain name. I really appreciate everybody's time. My channel is very young, so any likes, comments, or subscribes are very, very welcome and appreciated. Thank you very much. I hope everybody has a wonderful day.